Hey guys, I wanted to create a short video explaining how to update your digital records in bulk so that you don't have to go individually into every record to update certain parts of it when oftentimes many of the parameters are the same for the instructors uh, that are tied to a specific adoption. So the way to do that is to come into your Salesforce and click on the digital tab just at the very top digital and then what you'll see is you have a couple of pre-built views over here so the one to choose is this one that says MHHE fall 2016 implementation plan and then go and what this is going to do is pull up all of the records that are tied to your fall 2016 opportunities these are the ones that are populating that implementation excellence report. So when a digital record has already been created, it will appear in this view and then you can use the tools here in Salesforce to bulk edit these. So we're able to edit several excuse me, digital records at one time. So once you have your list here, you could sort it however you want, like in alphabetical order, for example. I have the whole district here, so obviously I have more. I have 347, but you should have the number that are created um, in your own database. So what we're going to be able to change in bulk here as we scroll over are a lot of the parameters that we talked about today, making sure that we're able to update. So those are the things like the percentage of the grade that Connect is required for or the digital tool, if that training is scheduled and the date the FGOC is scheduled, and then noting uh, if that training is completed and by whom. And so anytime you see a little pencil in Salesforce, that means that that's an editable field. And since we're in a view with all of our records here, what we can do is select the ones we want to edit to all have the same outcome over here. So what I mean by that is, for example, this is obviously some of Kim's business here, but if I look at Wallace computer applications, this is obviously all one opportunity. And you can see all the revenue is the same and so forth. So. If I, for example, have to come in here and update the percentage of the grade, I would simply select the records that I want to modify. So I have them all selected. I come over to the column that I want to edit. And I, when there's a pencil, I double click in the area that I want to edit. And you can see what you have here is the ability to choose that percentage of the grade and then to choose to say that you want to apply these changes to all the five records that you just selected. So you're able to update the entire opportunity, everyone that's tied to that opportunity with a digital record at one time. So you would do that and then you would click save. Okay, I'm not going to do it right now because obviously this is Kim's database and I don't want to mess hers up. <laughs> so I'm going to click cancel. So that was an example using this percentage of the grade, but the same process is in place for all of these other metrics that we obviously need to need to be able to track. So for training scheduled, same thing. I just double clicked. It opens this dialog box. I choose my date. I choose that I want to apply it to everyone if that's what you want to do. You know, obviously you would logically think through it. If it's a group training, for example, that would be the case. Um, and then obviously once again click save so I'll click cancel but again as we talked about this morning obviously our main priorities are making sure the kickoff email is sent if that's sent what that means is that you'll have a digital record in here for that person if that's not sent as, as we talked about we need to get that sent and then obviously that digital record will populate uh, in this particular view that we're in um, and so again, you could go across and then note when you have your FDOC scheduled. And then if you've handled the training yourself or someone else, perhaps a sales director or for Alex, the IM, you could come in here and note that that training is completed and by whom. So you get all the same options that you get in the individual digital record, um, except we're able to do it here in bulk and really streamline the process. So as always, reach out to me if you have any questions. I hope you guys find this helpful. Thanks so much.